almost feel like I've walked into church. This is my church. This is my sacred space. It's in a constant state of change. I never come here and find it the same, but it's always intriguing and it just has always resonated with me that this is, this is such a metaphor for our lives because it's, it's so dynamic. It's in such a state of decline and regrowth all the time. And I use the photographs for painting references, for drawing references, because they capture a lot of the detail that I try to put into the underpainting. But this reminds me of the feeling of being here. These are done in a technique that I've developed that's a, a glazing technique, um, which is normally an oil painting technique, but it can be used uh, on acrylic paintings, which these are currently. And I start with a black and white painting drawing. It's a very complex drawing. And uh, a gray pattern behind it. It's called a grisaille method of painting, where the whole thing is developed almost like a black and white photograph. And then the color goes on in layers that are glazed. I work with a limited palette, which means I'm only working with three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red, and black and white to get the uh, lightness and the darkness. And all of the colors on the paintings end up being created by the glazed layers. For example, this little bit here that's starting to look greenish is a result of layering the blue over the yellow. And the yellow and the blue together make green. So if I want this to be more green, I can layer some blue over it. And when the medium dries, the glazing medium, and becomes clear, that will have a green cast to it. Uh, same thing with the red. I can glaze the red, as in this painting here. There's no purple in here. This is made from layering the, the, the red that I'm using over the blue that's underneath it. And by adding more layers of blue or more layers of red, I can make it purpler or bluer, or I can make it this greener by adding blue and adding yellow. And the paintings end up with about 20 layers, 25 layers of glazed color by the time they're finished. I can also go in, as I did in this area here, with a glaze of transparent white and knock the color back completely because then I go in and I repaint some of the black over it. Those become branches and twigs that are in the foreground and the others are maybe under the water because these are mostly reflected images that are reflected in the water. These paintings take uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 hours each. <laughs> so, so I'm busy. <laughs> and uh, I hope you can make it to the exhibition in July at Gibson's. I'll be introducing this whole series. And there's lots of other components to the exhibition. Um, lots of surprises. So hope you can make it. July 11th to August 11th. The opening is the 13th.